What's up, YouTube? Bitcoin today is at an all-time high, just around $40,000, and we're going to make the call. Give you a little piece of advice. What's the decision? Is it a buy, a sell, or a hold? Now, before we get into it, I want you to smash that like button because the algorithm needs to know that you're getting some value out of this information. And while you're at it, why don't you subscribe? Because I'm gonna be bringing you more financial stuff, good stuff, bad stuff, all sorts of entertaining things. Now, Bitcoin just hit an all-time high. That we know. Just under $40,000 as of today. It's been hopping up and down, and a lot of people are wondering why. Why is Bitcoin going up? Well, there's a couple of things that are leading Bitcoin to go up. For one, PayPal started the, the rocket ship up to $40,000 by investing in Bitcoin. That's right. PayPal is now allowing you to invest in Bitcoin, pay people in Bitcoin. You can't necessarily send Bitcoin to PayPal, but you can purchase Bitcoin in PayPal, hold it in PayPal, and then send it to people in PayPal. You do have to convert that to fiat in order for you to take it out of PayPal. The Democrats just won the Georgia runoff elections, which means more financial stimulus is coming, which means the value of the dollar is deflating. Now, this year alone, the U.S. Treasury has minted 30% of the total outstanding dollars in our economy. That's right. We just added 30% more money to the economy. That's a lot of money. Like, a lot. We're talking $8 trillion. That's a lot of money that just came out of nowhere. This leads to epic deflation. The reason Bitcoin is going up right now is a multi-thronged approach. There are more banks coming in to Bitcoin. That's right. Major banks have been purchasing huge million dollar blocks, $500 million blocks of Bitcoin. Another reason why Bitcoin is going up is Bitcoin is a finite resource. There will only be 21 million Bitcoins ever minted. That's right. After the miners mine all of those Bitcoins, they do not mine any more Bitcoins. So it is a finite resource, unlike the US dollar, which apparently they can produce as much as they want. Now, keep in mind, the price of Bitcoin is pegged to the US dollar. So as it rises, it is rising in comparison to the US dollar. So that means if the value of the US dollar is going down, the value of Bitcoin is going up. Do you understand that relationship? If you don't, leave a comment. I'll probably make another video so that you can understand why this is happening. Reasons for Bitcoin to go up. Finite amount of tokens. You have demand from big banks. There's tons of big banks purchasing Bitcoin right now. You have the inflation and printing of a 30% money supply. But what could cause Bitcoin to go down? Now, let's be really clear here. Bitcoin is an incredibly volatile asset and you should not be investing any money into Bitcoin that you could not lose all of. Bitcoin could go to zero tomorrow. But, but, there is a lot of de-risk with big banks getting into Bitcoin. The reason being, if big banks are now in Bitcoin, that means that there are lobbyists in Washington fighting for Bitcoin. That means that the huge banks will not let Bitcoin go to zero or get Bitcoin deregulated, which leads me to the biggest risk of Bitcoin going down, which is regulation. If the government steps in, and decides that this token, that this form of money store, Bitcoin is illegal, obviously Bitcoin could go down. If Or if the government poses tax implications onto Bitcoin holders, that could lead the value to go down. If, for instance, the government issued some sort of tax that was like 40%, 50% exercise tax on Bitcoin, that could cause a severe drop in the price levels of Bitcoin. Another reason it could go down is the decrease in demand. Once all of the banks have bought all the Bitcoin that they need, maybe there's no more people buying Bitcoin. Maybe Bitcoin is not currently a piece of uh, notoriety in the media. That will cause Bitcoin to go down. The reason why Bitcoin does fluctuate is it's just like a stock. 
its demand goes up and down and that's where the price for Bitcoin comes from. In addition, Coinbase, which is the largest exchange of Bitcoin in America, is looking to IPO. That's right. They're looking to go public and become a public company. The banks that are supporting that IPO are looking for Bitcoin to become expensive as possible so that the IPO of Coinbase can generate tons of cash and make tons of banks a lot of money. If the banks behind Coinbase are pumping up the value of Bitcoin just so that they can have a higher evaluation of the Coinbase IPO when it goes public, well, after that pump inflates the price, you could see a big down. But I do not think that is a huge risk. I, for one, am holding Bitcoin and I am not getting rid of it. For anybody who is new to Bitcoin, my advice, and this is not financial advice, this is just advice from your friend Jay, is you should dollar cost average into Bitcoin. A lot of people say, wow, the price is going up so much. How much should I invest? How much of a percentage of my portfolio can I invest? The key is to dollar cost average. Put away a little bit every single week, every month, whatever it is, and invest into Bitcoin that way. The average of the price that you get into, you're not going to worry if it goes down a little bit because if it goes down a little bit, then you just buy more and you get more. There's a couple different ways to invest in Bitcoin. One is Robinhood. It's super easy, but just like Cash App, you can't send real Bitcoins into a Bitcoin hard wallet. There's Coinbase. Coinbase is the most readable exchange uh, for Bitcoin, but do keep in mind, if you are a new client, it does take a few uh, days for your account to get verified. You have to put in your social security number and all sorts of stuff, but then you could purchase Bitcoin and send it off into your hardware wallet. If you don't know what a hardware wallet is, uh, I'm going to put some links in the description. You can purchase a hardware wallet. There's two types of hardware wallet. One is the ledger wallet and one is the treasure wallet. You send your Bitcoins to that wallet and then you store that wallet somewhere offline so that nobody can hack you. Nobody can get at your Bitcoin. Exchanges have the ability to be hacked, but Bitcoin is has been proven unhackable. That's right. Nobody has been able to change the Bitcoin blockchain since its inception. There's one slight risk, and that is quantum computing, which is way far off. And I wouldn't worry about that because by the time quantum computers are able to solve the Bitcoin equation, by that time, we will also have quantum cryptography, which will make it even harder for the quantum computers to solve the cryptography which stores your value of money. So what's my prediction? Is it a buy, sell, or hold? Yeah, that's right. I think it's a buy, but you need to dollar cost average. I want to hear about your prediction in the comments below. So go down and let me know if you think Bitcoin right now is a buy, sell, or a hold. Anyway, guys, that's it. If you have any questions about anything that you heard in this video, please leave a comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you haven't smashed the like button, please do that. And if you haven't followed my other channel, Cream on Top, please do that. Go over there. I take videos of cool people doing cool things, music performers performing in great locations. I'll see you guys.